few months ago, after the Raspberry Pi 4 was released, I discovered it had a problem. It would get hot. Really, really hot. And if you put the Pi inside the official Pi 4 case, it would turn into a Raspberry Pi-sized Easy Bake Oven. This isn't great if you want to use the Pi a lot, because the heat results in CPU throttling, and it can also reduce the reliability and life of the Pi itself. Recently, however, the Raspberry Pi Foundation released an update to the Pi 4's firmware and bootloader that helps reduce the temperature by 6 to 8 degrees Celsius. This makes the Pi work without throttling inside the case most of the time. And that's a really good thing. But for people who really drive the Pi 4 hard, it still might not be enough. And that's why this was invented. This is the Ice Tower Cooling Fan. This one's sold by Seed Studios, that's with three E's, uh, but there's other resellers that stock the same basic model. And it's a combination heat pipe, heat sink, and fan, which takes the heat off the Pi's CPU and dumps it into the air. It's kind of huge, but when it comes to dissipating heat, bigger is always better. I've been testing the ice tower on my Pi 4, and I compared it to a few different methods of cooling the Pi. As you can see by the bottom graph series, which is the ice tower, it lives up to its name. Tonight's forecast, a freeze is coming. Even under heavy load, the Raspberry Pi stayed under the temperature of a bare Raspberry Pi when it was idle. What does this mean in the real world? If you need to use the Pi to do things like build container images, run complex processes, run Kubernetes, or maybe run more than one browser tab in Chromium, then this, tour, this cooler will keep the Pi in optimal condition and result in the CPU never throttling at all. What are the downsides, though? Well, first of all, look at the thing. By volume, it's larger than the entire Raspberry Pi, so good luck finding a case to fit it. I threw together this case with some acrylic and risers I had from other projects, but you're going to have to f go full custom to mount this thing inside a case. But what about the fan? Well, for anyone who demands silence, from here on in. Absolute silence, you can just not use the fan. It has four screws around the outside you can remove to pop off the fan, and without the fan, the passive heatsink already does a better job than just blowing a fan on the bare CPU. But if you do use the fan, it's actually pretty quiet. It's barely audible in my office over the background noise from a couple feet away. And it's a lot quieter than the little Pi fans I use in my other Pi projects. One downside though to using that built-in fan is those bright blue LEDs. I wish I could disable them because they're pretty bright and they make the whole thing look like something out of Batman Returns. Freeze, I see, freeze, I see, wait if I have frozen, I see, freeze. Overall though, the Ice Tower cooling fan is a product that lives up to its name. Using it, the Pi CPU barely rises in temperature under heavy load. That's something I can't say when using a convective cooling solution or blowing a fan over the normal tiny CPU heatsink. And you can read more about all of this testing that I've done on my blog at jeffgearling.com. And you can buy the Ice Tower from Amazon, and there's links to both in the description below. Thanks for watching, and thanks to my Patreon supporters, especially the newest one, Constantine Macri, who helped make this channel possible. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, but I'm not going to ask you to click the bell because I hate notifications.